Hello, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 12th of June. Yours is the sign of sparkle, communicational magic, and with Mercury, your ruler, forging a gorgeous angle to Jupiter through to Thursday, you could wow someone with the strength of your personality or your ideas or just your neat inherent charisma. So why will it that someone else can seem so absolutely unimpressed by what you have to say? Well, this is because the sun in your sign is going to be opposed by the dour, sobering energies of Saturn, which has been in your sector of relating and relationships for over two years. It's possible that around one tie, a pinch point can be reached, and you may have to make a key decision on what to do. And especially if you are starting to feel much more hopeful and optimistic, and if it always seems that the same person reigns on your parade, let that inform your decision-making. But it's not as if there are some challenges this week that you can't overcome. It's just that your physical vitality may be a little bit cramped and limited by Saturn's influence. If you do work in any kind of competitive field, you may feel rather more underpowered, even if your mind and your personality are still going to be very sharp. But there's another influence in the second half of this week which you can tune into that can be magical. It sees the sun angling to Uranus. Uranus has been lighting up your sector of friendships and associations, the people you've been networking with full time since 2011. And your future de destiny and direction have probably changed in quite a radical way since that time. And this is another aspect which can help you to tune into the authentic side of your nature. And if that means being a bit different, being a bit random and rebelling against the expectations of someone who is oppressive and expecting something from you that you don't want to give, then this can be a, a week when you have the chance to go to create that very special presence that you know that you're capable of. With Uranus also forging a great link to your north node, the point of destiny, don't estim underestimate just how much impact your ideas can have on the people that you encounter. However, in the second half of this week, Neptune, the planet of dreams, which has been shimmering and moving around in your sector of work and worldly involvements, does go into a retrograde for five and a half months. And this can distort, so it's important to stay grounded and realistic about your work or professional aspirations. But in the second uh, half of this week, we also see Venus, which is in a very psychological part of your scope, forging a beautiful link to Neptune. If there is a situation in your love life where you feel unfulfilled, you can trip the light fantastic as this week draws to a close. Especially if you are reminiscent about someone from your past, you may even find yourself developing something of a secret crush with someone in the here and now. As the week draws to a close, there is a quarter moon, your values and the values of someone you encounter in a more professional role may jar a little bit in the following seven days. So just be aware that although you can make huge steps forwards this week, there could be someone who's very orthodox, very dour, perhaps not easily persuaded by the quick moving uh, facets of your natural personality that you may have to cultivate in order to get to the next stage along the road. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.